Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel Nostalgic Runner. And we are back again for another Get Fit With Me series. And this is not yoga edition. This is actually going to be another one from um, Ariana um, Elizabeth. And it's another dance one. And we're going to try her K pop full body dance party workout, low impact, high dot dot dot. And this is roughly eight minutes, and I just kind of wanted to give it a go, give it a try, and see what happens here. And um, when when you, I am going to put, of course, the video at the end of the video for you to check it out to see if you want to do it, if you like it. But in both cases, she has music. So we're going to see if we have some rhythm or not. Um, just to warn you, I probably should have mentioned this before because I actually filmed another video that was kind of similar to this. I do have my ankle wrapped up. It is feeling better, so I am able to move it a little bit more. But for precaution purposes, because we're not running on it yet, I want to make sure I don't do any more damage to it because it still is very bruised. Um, but yeah, we're going to give it a go and see what everything's doing. So, yeah.
Wow. That concludes that workout. Um, oh man, I, okay. So let me know. You know what? Don't even let me know. I'm going to start adding this to my routine because I am enjoying this and it reminds me of, oh, by the way, the way I rate this video, it's, it's a 10. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I think I've been needing to switch it up for a while. I have mentioned on the channel a couple of times that I want to do other things besides yoga on this channel because I do a lot of yoga. Um, I don't do nearly as much of the strength training videos, but I kind of personally rather have my own space to do that versus doing it at a gym. It's kind of tricky to film that at a public gym. If I was like in a building that has its own gym, that'd be one thing. Or if I have my own gym, that'd also be another thing. So you probably won't get as many of those. And then also documenting myself while I'm running outside. Again, another tall task. I want to try to add that in, but it's just not an easy thing to do. Especially since I'm really, really trying to focus on getting my speed and my endurance and all that back in order. So I want to share the progression. But I'm also someone when I do run outside, I don't run with my phone. Probably shouldn't tell everyone that, but I don't run with my phone. Um, I have my smartwatch, which basically does similar things as my phone, and a Ventra Pass, which is like a like our um, pass for like public transportation. Usually a card on me, and then like my ID and my keys, and that's about it. Like that sounds like it's a lot of stuff, but it's giving bare minimum. And then if I'm running in the evening, also a little something, something. But <laughs> um, typically, I just try to run with not that much on me um, when I'm running by myself because, you know, it, it just, it's a lot. But anyway, so I did enjoy this routine a lot. Um, I modified this one just like I modified the last one. So there were quite a few jumping jacks type things with this. But again... <laughs> I want to get back to running, so I'm trying to really do the smart thing and not do as much heavy impact, at least not without like some cushion. And my running shoes are high cushion shoes, so I'm gonna I am gonna try to give running a go tomorrow. But I'm also gonna do a salt salt bath tonight and do the things because I think it is. I think my I think my ankle is almost there. I just don't think. I don't want a chance making it worse, but definitely it's almost there. It hasn't gotten worse. It definitely is improving. Um, because when I tell you my ankle was swollen for like a little over a week and a half and the swelling just not went down probably like what, maybe three or four days ago. Um, running the couple times where I did give it a trial run, trying to run, it did feel better while I was running. But again, I'm not trying to risk it and I know a lot of what the hurt is is bruising because I definitely bruised the crap out of my foot and I'm just kind of irritated that it's not showing that it's bruised but it's definitely bruised because I can feel it but anyway that's pretty much it though for the video I'm gonna put the link in the description like I always do um, I am gonna do another one of her videos. She has one that's from earlier on. It's only five minutes, but I want to give it a go because I'm liking this new thing that she has going on. It kind of reminds me back when I was a cheerleader. Yes, I was a cheerleader. <laughs> I used to be a cheerleader for one year, and it was while I was in eighth grade. I was not in high school or anything like that because your girl was an overweight kid, but I still was a cheerleader because once upon a time I was somewhat flexible. Somewhat enough to do the kicks and pyramid. I could throw people up because I always had the strength. So, I mean, <laughs> you need someone to help with the pyramid, right? So, yeah, once upon a time, I was a cheerleader. I actually still do have my old cheerleading uniform here, and it actually fits better now than it did while I was in grade school. That's the disturbing part. And I wore it probably like I think almost 10 years ago for Halloween, I wore my cheerleading outfit because I still have it. <laughs> so yeah, I used to be a cheerleader, just in case y'all didn't know that. It kind of probably checks out the more you get to know me. But also too, it kind of doesn't. It kind of does though, because I always tell people I've lived many lives. There's been so many random phases in my life that I've done or have tried to do. Like I was in gymnastics at one point, I was in... I was in Taekwondo for a little bit, like, <laughs> you 
Your girl has tried it all. But, um, that sounds, that sounds crazy. I'm not going to say what I want to say. I was about to say, no, never mind. Anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl, Sharon, a.k.a. The Melon and Stouch Runner. I will see you next time. Bye.